Up next is a flyweight battle between Gabe, the Samurai Sagman, and Anton Potoski. Making his BTC debut in 2018, Gabe Sagman is now a veteran of the game. The BJJ Black Belt has seven pro victories to his name, including a unanimous decision win at BTC 13 in 2021. His opponent is Cambridge, Ontario's Anton Potoski. Potoski is coming off an impressive performance at BTC 23 in Kingston, leading to a submission victory. With three victories to his name and no defeats, Potoski is quickly becoming one of Canada's top prospects at flyweight. Will the 14 fight veteran's experience lead to a victory, or will the undefeated prospect continue his streak? Let's find out. It's time for Gabe Sagman versus Anton Potoski. This one should be a barn burner at flyweight. Here we go, BTC fight fans. The following contest is in the flyweight division, being brought to you tonight by Endorphins Health and Wellness Center, Niji's Natural Medicine, and Maverick Protein. Scheduled for three rounds with your referee, Ivan Speck. Now introducing your fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the black trunks trimmed in red and white. Standing five feet, five inches tall, he weighed in at 124 pounds. He's a freestyle mixed martial artist representing Mass Academy of Martial Arts. He comes to the BTC cage undefeated with a record of three wins, no losses and no draws with all three wins coming by way of submission. Fighting out of and representing Cambridge, Ontario, ladies and gentlemen, here is Anton Potoski! His opponent across the cage fighting out of the red corner wearing the black trunks trimmed in gray. Standing five feet, six inches tall, he weighed in at 124.8 pounds. He's a freestyle mixed martial artist representing Niagara Top Team. He comes to the BTC cage with a record of seven wins and seven losses, with three of those wins coming by way of submission. Fighting out of and representing St. Catharines, Ontario, ladies and gentlemen, here is Gabe Samurai Sagman. <laughs> Referee Ivan Speck with final fight instruction. Gentlemen, my heart is clean. Particularly for all times, obey my commands all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, this BTC flyweight matchup will be decided in three rounds. Hit him, T-Shea. Ivan Speck, the third and final man inside the BTC cage for what should be an excellent flyweight bout between Gabe Sagman and Anton Potoski. Yeah, I was looking forward to this one. One of the most on the card. Very interesting, the vet versus the up and comer. And both 32 years old, too. Oh, nice high kick by Potoski. Then Sagman's going to rush in and look for the takedown. Yeah, this is nice chest pressure, single leg. Gets it momentarily, but Anton hunting for this guillotine here. Gabe's doing the right thing. He's trying to step around. He's got to be careful here still. Still very dry, too, early in the fight. It's hard to slip that neck out. And that was maybe the evolution from training at Niagara top team. Took a strike and just rushed in for the takedown. That Sagman may have picked up some of those skills. We, we know he can wrestle before, but that looked like some experience. And now he's got top pressure. He's got, that was a nice single leg takedown. Anton, instead of trying to really, really defend, he went for that guillotine, didn't get it. Now he's on, on his back here in half guard. This is a, a good spot early in this fight for, for Gabe Sagman. This is where he wants to be. Wants to take the time, does Sagman. And a guy that's known to also grind out hard fought victories yeah. too. Potoski looking to create some space here. He's got half butterfly. He's trying to get his 
feet in the hips of Sagman to push him off, create space, create a scramble. Gabe is sticking to him like glue. And that's just so maybe, you know, coming to the, the effect too of being the more experienced fighter, Anton maybe a little overzealous trying to get that guillotine and put himself in that bad spot. Yeah, that's a, that's a submission where you, you have to know you have it for sure or else you're gonna end up on your back in a bad spot like this. Yeah, game now posturing up, landing some good ground and pound is Sagman. Das has gotta be careful of his own neck here. If Gabe will go for this. He's, there he goes, he's jumping, that's deep. That that's deep very deep. Team. That's it. Oh, that, that could be this it. This fight's over, that's, that's it. Tap out, wow. Gabe Sagman. That Bushido warrior spirit snaps his three fight losing streak and gets to two and one inside the BTC cage as he hands Petoskey the first loss of his career. That was textbook guillotine. Petoskey trying to come up, doing the right things to create space, but kept his neck out there, and Gabe snatched that up. You could tell right away that was deep in there. And when Gabe goes for that, he knows how to finish those guillotines, and that was a textbook guillotine. Drop to that hip, high elbow, beautiful guillotine by Gabe Sagman. You see the mutual respect there. I think just fighting someone of the, the high-level prospect that Anton Petoskey is for Gabe Sagan really motivated him for his camp, as we talked about. Like his last fight on short notice, up a weight class, yeah. but a full camp was the big benefactor here for Sagman and took advantage of the opportunity. Yeah, 100%. This is, you know, Petoskey, I know this, this sucks. You know, I, their first loss always is the hardest, but this is, the, this is the one he can learn from. You know, he got caught in a submission in that transition. He can take this back and, and really try to fix his mistakes. And that's all it was, one mistake, and Gabe took advantage of it. Ladies and we'll make and it gentlemen, official with Mr. Throwdown. Please put a big round of applause together for both of the fighters in the center of the cage. Your tap out came at two minutes, nine seconds of the very first round for your winner by guillotine submission, Gabe Samurai! Segment. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Gabe Sagman, your winner. Gabe, you've, you've, you've been there 14 times. This is your 15th fight. You've had wins, you've had losses, ups and downs. How good does this victory feel? You got the submission in the first round. Tell me what you're feeling right now. Man, I'm just, I'm elated right now, Josh. Like, it's been a long road back to this win. You know, last time I, I won was right here in this BTC cage. So, man, all the respect in the world to uh, Anton, my coach, my team, Niagara top team. Man, this, this victory is them, it's all them. Chris Prickett, uh, Matthew Marcantonio, Jaden Diaz, Matt Jelly, he couldn't be here, but he's a huge part, man. Uh, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Thick Boy Fight Club, Thick Gang, um, Concussion Rehab, yeah, man. The guillotine, that was a beautiful textbook guillotine. Is that something that you just felt in the moment, or is that something you're looking for, you saw when watching him previous in the fight? Uh, it's definitely one of my, my go-to moves. Um, you know, I hit that a lot in practice. And uh, when, I, when I felt his neck, I sunk my arm in, and uh, he, w he wasn't defending it. So I'm like, okay, let's, let's go. What's next for Gabe? Uh, man, I know BTC is coming back to St. Catherine, so hey, who here wants to see me back in this BTC cage on home turf? Home turf, back in St. Catherine. Let's go, let's get me a matchup. I'm ready, to, I'm ready for a quick turnaround, or whoever's next. Um, hey, I'm a problem in this flyweight division, let's go. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Gabe Sagman. Gabe Sagman with an, a very impressive victory to get his first win. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 13. we're going to take a Thank short 15-minute interview.